Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Ostrich Vox, and we're now 100 days deep in this TV Universe hiatus. Hooray! Fun times all around. But this hiatus has allowed us to look back on the show and appreciate some of the finer details we wouldn't be able to otherwise. And as more pieces keep falling into place, everything accumulating up to the point where it is now, we can't forget who the show is really about. Pink Diamond. Pretty much every major event in the series has not just been a result of Pink Diamond and her actions, but her plans as well. She begged and begged to get a colony. And once her opinion changed, she devised a plan to scare off the homeworld gems from Earth, which resulted into a full-blown war, which led to her plan to stage her own shattering, resulting in the outcome she aimed for. Homeworld left the planet, but then the diamonds attacked and caused corruption. So where did that leave her afterwards? Some angles of the show do present it as if Pink Diamond just ran away from her problems. That was one of Steven's key points during Storm in the Room, that she just abandoned Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl, and Greg, that Steven was nothing more than a cover up for her mistakes. And yeah, Pink Diamond may have been an arguably bad person. Rebecca Sugar even used those words to describe Rose Quartz on the Steve Universe podcast. But she does care about people. She cares about Garnet, meaning Garnet changed her entire worldview and allowed her to fight the gem war not just for herself, but for gems of all different shapes and sizes, who didn't fit into Homeworld's mold, including Amethyst and Pearl. And she definitely cared about Greg. At first, she tried to push him away, but then they both took a gamble on each other. But if she cared so much about all these people, and even could have considered the possibility of Homer returning, why would she leave all of them? Having her child inherit all of her problems. Leaving this pressure on Garnet as the Crystal Gem's de facto leader. These scars on Pearl forcing her to keep this horrible secret of what really happened, about their past, yet also leaving her feeling inadequate, someone who wasn't good enough. After all, she chose Greg. Well, I believe Rose Pink Diamond did all of this because she had a plan, and that plan was Steven. And there's only one other living being on the planet who was potentially aware of this plan, Lion. All right, before I go complete conspiracy theory, I just wanna remind you guys, we have a bunch of designs back up on our Teespring, the Diamond Crashers, I'm always Blue, Roundtable Black and Blue, Retro Primo, Let's Talk with Tom, Bingo Bongo, and so much more. Check them out. Link in the description. Get them before they're gone. All right, so when did Pink Diamond come up with such a plan? Well, sometime during her relationship with Greg Universe. Pink Diamond was affected by Greg's love. She saw the emotional potential of human beings through her time spent with him. Before even meeting Greg, she knew at the end of the gem war she was in too deep, failing to heal the corrupted gems, burning bridges with the diamonds, and staging her own destruction. She may have felt and foreseen that if she came out to the Crystal Gems, they would fall apart and never band back together. Not while she's still around, because why would they believe a single word she says? It would just be her and Pearl. Pig knew the only viable outcome to fix everything was to remove herself from the equation and leave something in her place. Something or someone that could fix all of this. So her and Greg got down to baby making and before anyone knew it, Steven was born. Now Pink Diamond knew Greg's kind hearted nature would mold Steven into just the right person. Someone the Crystal Gems needed, someone Homeworld needed, someone who can mediate tensions and conflict. She didn't leave everything to just Greg's parenting. She also entrusted the Crystal Gems to eventually train him and Han his abilities, while both these parties are blissfully unaware that they're playing into her master plan. But as I said earlier, someone was and still is in on the plan. Lion. Lion recognized Steven as Rose Course's son in his debut episode, alongside his pocket dimension full of various items that have all played a role in the series thus far. Things she all left for Steven. I believe Pink Diamond trained Lion to guard her ship and mount him the belongings in the desert. Perhaps he also learned to recognize the scent of her gemstone, which is how he knew Steven was Pink Diamond's successor in the first place. Lion learned what to do if Steven desired to become a better leader, hence why he took Steven and Connie to Rose his armory, or give them Rose's sword, or even why Lion knows where the moon base is. And keep in mind, Lion only took Steven and Kai to Rose's armory after very uh, particular wording from Steven's mouth. <laughs> Lion isn't trained very well, but I'm not trained very well either. Even in Lion 4, Lion only coughs up the key after once again, Steven says aloud very specific wording. There has to be a clue somewhere. Mom said she wanted to have me. That must mean there's a reason. There has to be something I was meant to do. My magical gem destiny. 
And considering Lion more than likely is aware of what Pink Diamond's leg ship really is, and the location of the moon base, he was always in the know of Rose's true identity, which could be another factor in why Rose kept his existence secret from Pearl. On the topic of Pearl, Pink Diamond knew Steven would bring Pearl and Greg together as friends. With her presence gone, they would both have something to mourn. And with Steven there, they would both have someone to love. It was inevitable that they would move past what had happened. As for Garnet, the Permafusion has made it clean in pool hopping that Steven's decisions are so unpredictable, she's unable to properly foresee what's going to happen next. This is something Steven adopted from his mother. Garnet, and by extension Ruby and Sapphire, have been pushed forward in ways they could have never imagined, and that slowly due to Steven and his unpredictability. Garnet has only been able to progress as a leader, being able to keep it together and stay strong despite not knowing what's going to happen next because of his presence. Episodes in the past always had Amethyst as the younger child, someone who has a lot of issues and self-resentment. Steven forced Amethyst out of that role as youngest child, and instead she adopted the position of a big sister, having to face her own issues head on. Bismuth was placed in Lion's Mane for Steven to unbubble, so that the two could talk things out about Rose Quartz, and reach a conclusion that brings Bismuth to some sort of peace. By just putting Bismuth inside of Lion, it shows that Pink Diamond had a lot of guilt towards her former friend. That she knew Bismuth deserved to be liberated, and that hopefully, Steven could give her the clarity she needed. Which is why ultimately, I think Pink Diamond accounted for Steven finding out the truth. What really happened in the palanquin on that fateful day? While yes, she did force Pearl to be sworn to secrecy, Steven is her son, and technically is Pink Diamond. And if he didn't piece everything together from Lion, he was going to eventually find out the existence of Pink Diamond. So a talk about Pink Diamond between him and Pearl was set in stone. While I don't think anyone could have predicted the circumstances of how it played out, I'd argue Pink Diamond knew the cat would be out of the bag. We also had to factor in Rose Quartz's final words to Steven on her VHS tape. Take care of them, Steven. There was no doubt in Pink Diamond and Rose Quartz's mind that Steven was the antidote. He was the key to everyone's problems, even her own. So let's jump to corruption. The Crystal Gems has stated before that Rose and attempted to heal them and that Steven's attempt on Nephrite was the closest they ever gotten. So I imagine, just as how Yellow Diamond quickly pieced together that all four of the diamonds are needed to heal corruption, I think Pink came to that same conclusion, which is why she gave up and just settled on bubbling them, putting them in the temple for thousands of years. Which is why, above all else, Pink knew in the back of her head, Homeworld would return one day. She created Steven not just as someone with the compassion and potential to get through anyone, but created her son as someone both the Crystal Gems and the diamonds to see just why she felt the earth was worth protecting, why humanity was worth protecting. That Steven not only embodies the best of humanity, but gem kind as well. As Garnet said in the test, there hasn't been anyone or anything like Steven. And while, as we saw in Three Gems and a Baby, they kind of struggled with accepting that he is not Rose Quartz for a bit, they eventually got it. And now that they love him unconditionally, they all see what Rose was able to see. And now it's time for the diamonds to go through the exact same thing. Right now, there's a switch in their heads that need to be flicked. From Pink Diamond mode to Steven mode. I have no doubts that the Diamonds will accept that Steven is not Pink Diamond. But, as someone who is an extension of Pink Diamond, yet entirely new, they'll go through the exact same thing Greg and Pearl did. They're mourning, but now they have someone to love. They have someone to bring the Crystal Gems and Homeworld together. As we saw in Now We're Only Falling Apart, Pink Diamond tried. She really tried to reason with Blue and Yellow Diamond. And those efforts never ceased. They still live on to this very day, as Steven Quartz Universe. Pink Diamond's true plan is one that at the end of the day, finally won't have any negative consequence. One that'll truly work out in the long run. An unstoppable force of everything that she loves. A true symbol of peace. All right, so all of this sounds fine and dandy, but going back to line four, none of it adds up to the conclusion we were given in that episode. You know, Greg telling Steven he was just meant to be him and Rose's son. And to that, I say, well, that doesn't necessarily mean Rose didn't intend for him to get involved with the gem conflicts. Greg's conclusion doesn't explain why Rose left so many things for Steven inside Lion's Mane, why Lion is so reactionary to certain things. Not to mention, Greg was also completely unaware that Rose was Pink Diamond. 
so he'd be clueless on her end goal with Steven in relation to the other diamonds. Again, I don't necessarily believe Greg is wrong. I do believe that, yeah, Rose intended for Steven to be her son, but that was not the only factor. Steven's purpose couldn't just be to live his life. He was intended to be a completely new experience. And while it may not necessarily be a magical destiny, it's still some form of conflict he has to resolve. Pink Diamond saw that she can't achieve that happy ending for everybody, but Steven can. And isn't that better than just living his best life? Helping everyone live their best life. But that's just my heartwarming, cheesy take on everything. Maybe she had no plan, but what do you guys think? What was Pink Diamond's end goal by giving birth to Steven? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet them to me at Vox or at Roundtable Vids. We're also on Instagram. If you went up the Roundtable Grow, support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks, and your name can be featured at the end of the the video. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please start to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop with all things Steven. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vox, out.